Hello, thank you for returning to my channel. We were doing the laws of chemical combination and in the previous video I did three laws that is the law of conservation of mass, the law of constant proportions and the law of multiple proportions. In this video, we'll do the next two laws, that is the Gay-Lussac's law of combining gas volumes and the Avogadro's law. According to the Gay-Lussac's law of combining gas volumes, Gay-Lussac gave this law in 1808 and he said that when gases combine or form products or they are produced, that is when gases combine, that is the reactants are gases, or are produced which means that the products are gases it means this law was for gaseous reactants or gaseous products when gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction they do so in a simple ratio by their volumes provided all the gases are at the same temperature and pressure let's understand this that when gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction they do so in a simple ratio by their volumes let's take this example to explain it hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water we are already aware of this if we take hydrogen gas two volumes the equation is 2h2 plus o2 gives you 2h2o two volumes of hydrogen they combine with one volume of oxygen let us assume that each cube represents one volume to produce water which is twice the volume that is two volumes of water now water is in the form of water vapor let us assume this so hydrogen let us say is 50 milliliters come and another 50 milliliters of hydrogen which means 100 milliliters of hydrogen would combine with 50 milliliters of oxygen to form two volumes which means a hundred milliliters of water this is what the law states that when you have reactants which are gases and products which are gases then they will have a simple whole number ratio to each other by volume but what's the condition the condition is that the temperature and pressure of all the reactants and the products should be the same in other words the volumes of reactants of any substance whether it's a reactant or a product at certain temperatures and pressures should be somewhat relatable they should be equal but that was something which was understood by the next scientist that was Avogadro's law but when Gay Sachs noticed this about the combining gas volumes his law only stated this that when gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction they do so in a simple ratio by volume provided the temperature and pressure are constant if you pay a little attention to this law we find that this could be also called the law of definite proportions what was the law of definite proportions what was the statement of the law of definite proportions it said that a given compound always contains exactly the same proportion of elements by weight so that was nothing but the same thing only this one talks about instead of weight it talks about volumes all right so the last law is the Avogadro's law the Avogadro's law once you understand this it becomes it can be used to explain this too Avogadro gave his law in 1811. He said that equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules. If you really see the law of definite proportions which said the masses of reactants and products are fixed and they are uh, and these masses have a simple whole number ratio and the fact that gaseous volumes are fixed and they should have a simple whole number ratio 
and then coming to the idea that molecules are fixed and therefore they have a simple whole number ratio ultimately brings us to the conclusion that the number of molecules are fixed and therefore their masses are fixed and at, if they are gases and they are at the same temperature and pressure therefore their volumes are also fixed. So he said that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules. But when Avogadro gave his law, scientists like popular scientists like John Dalton, they still believed that elements cannot have molecules, that is molecules cannot have atoms of the same element. For them, a molecule meant always a compound atom, that is it should always be atoms of different elements to form a molecule. He did not, they did not believe that atoms of the same element could combine to form molecules. Therefore, when Avogadro gave his law, at that time it was called Avogadro's hypothesis and it was shelved for a long, long time. After about 50 years, the scientist Canizaro, in 1860, in Germany, he recognized the work of Avogadro when he gave his studies. So Avogadro got his recognition 50 years after he had actually thought and proposed his idea. And it is only after that Avogadro's hypothesis got the name of Avogadro's law. So these five were the laws of chemical combination. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'm going to do the Dalton's atomic theory. Please keep returning to my channel. Bye-bye.